Hey guys, I just wanted to do a um, an update on my diatomaceous earth experiments. Um, actually, the first time I tried it, after the first week, I killed it by accident. I left it out in the direct sun, and they all burned out. And then I I planted the new ones, and those kind of uh, they almost died. And I kind of forgot to water it because I've been kind of busy. And uh, well, most of it made it. And here's the results. It's a lot of my, most of it was lettuce, and um, I have here the catnip, which I actually enjoy very much. It's uh, it's good to make tea with the catnip. I like it. Very interesting taste. And um, my peppers. I don't think there was enough moisture to germinate some of these because I kind of kept forgetting to water it. I let it go too long without um, filling up the bottom, but uh, in my opinion it's doing pretty well considering it's just growing on diatomaceous earth, well on, on you know, on this kind of medium, because so it does do well on diatomaceous earth. Um, I'm actually going to put these, uh, I'm hoping to put these on a um, hydroponic solution real soon because it's about time for this to start going. As you can see here. This piece was dying because it needed more water. They're drying out. Yeah, I got a couple peppers here. They're growing well, considering. I just gotta take better care of it. And perhaps try one inside with natural light. Because they're also a bit leggy. Because they've been growing, these have been growing pretty much uh, full shade. No direct light. Every time I give it direct light, it just, with this cover right here, it just dies off. It's too much heat and it's moisture, I guess. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll have um, these in a hydroponic solution soon. Oops. Also, another little update is I have my blackberry jam seedlings here. They're actually kind of old. It must be like six, seven, eight months old. I just never transplanted them from the little cup that I had. But it was about time. Also, here's my corn that I did with my video with the uh, self-watering containers. They're doing pretty decently. I'm hoping these work out real good. They're looking great right now. That's all for today. Um, in the future, I'm gonna keep doing more experiments with diatomaceous earth, diatomaceous earth, and just you know do a better a better job at keeping up with it and taking better care of it because uh, it really does have good potential. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have tried it already, which is why I've, I've been trying it. And I actually really like growing in the diatomaceous earth for uh, for seedlings and stuff like that. So. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And that's it. Goodbye.